Evil's Vax. Vax? Do I not know my own name anymore? What in the world? Evil's Vox here with a quick Premiere time-saving tip. If you're video editing in Adobe Premiere and you're working with files where the audio has been recorded to only one channel, as you can see here, this is very common for me. This is pretty much how I do everything because my audio interfaces and mixers uh, bring one mic per left and one per right, and I'm only recording one. So you can see all of these files have my microphone from this recording I did, but they're only on the left channel. Now you can sit here and extract, edit in Adobe Audition, or do some weird channel mapping, but there's a really easy way to save yourself some time and not have to deal with any of that and keep it a mono, only the channel you want file. So I'm gonna come over here and select the files you want to adjust in your bin. Right click, go to Modify Audio Channels. Now here you have a lot of options for how the files are formatted and you can actually create presets of how they're made. But for example, this does work with multiple audio tracks. So I have two audio tracks from OBS, left, right, left, right, but I'm just gonna say that it's mono. And I'm just going to have it be one mono track. So a quick rundown of what all this means. I'm gonna step back. This is how I get what I want. So I'm gonna hit okay. Yes. So basically it won't get rid of those tracks that are already there and the changes won't apply until I import them again into Premiere. And now you can see it's all reading mono and I'm good to go and now I gotta reset everything I was doing. But let's go back and start over and I'm gonna show you what each of the options mean. So come over, uh, right click, go to modify audio channels and we're gonna go set this to use file. So this is what I import from OBS by default. I have two audio tracks. One is supposed to be for the desktop sound and one is for my microphone sound, although the accuracy of that will vary based on what you're doing. And it does not unfortunately interpret the track names that you set in OBS, but you should know which tracks you're working with or play back the files and figure that out. So by default, it has a left and right, since both are stereo tracks, there's a left and right channel for clip one and a left and right channel for clip two. Now you can actually reorder these, for example, if you want track one to be track two, you can sit there and do that for some reason, you do have the option. But that is left one, right one, left two, right two. And the, num the, the channel is left and right based on obviously left and right channels in your original stereo recording. Or if it's a mono track, if you do have a mono track in OBS, that will be listed there as well. And then the number is what actual track it's from. So you have channels, which are left and right, and track, which is one, two, three, four. So up here in the settings, you have presets, and by default, it's gonna be use file. And then you can set if you just want mono, or if you want stereo, and so on. You will notice, however, if you do something like mono, it will actually split out every channel to its own track. So instead of left, right, left, right, you have left as one track, right as one track, left as one track, right as one track. That would be desirable if you had four separate microphones on two tracks, one left, one right, one left, one right. But this would be a problem if you have, for example, as I mentioned, game sound on track one and then, or, or track two, and then microphone sound on track two because now track one is gonna be kind of duplicated and it's gonna lose the stereo separation by being a monophile. So that's why you can kind of set it up however you like with the clip channel format to a degree because you can only choose between mono and stereo. However, there is a cool little trick here because if you do have a mono microphone and you know, say, say clip two is my gain sound, which is stereo. I wanna leave that stereo. But clip one is my microphone, which is only in the left channel and I need it to be on both sides or just mono. I can't make it mono this way but I can tell it left and right to be on clip one. And then all of that audio will be there. So I'm actually going to drag this clip in. And now you can see compared to only being on the left channel, which is reflected here in track two, it is on both channels, which is basically making it a mono file. Now, if we go back to that and do right one on for both left and right of that first stereo file, it is empty because the right channel of that recording was empty. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense because this is really powerful and can save you a lot of time. And you can actually set this up if you have the same OBS format every time you record or the same multi-track format in general, 
You can actually set this up and save this as a preset and then apply that every time without having to go and manually map. But manually mapping is also very handy. So for this specific example, I'm only pulling the microphone audio and I don't have any other audio that I'm pulling from this. And so I want it to be mono. And then you change the number of audio clips, which is basically the number of audio tracks as in how you might record from OBS. So I only have one audio clip or track that I need. And then you get to choose which of the recorded channels you actually keep. So for me, it is left one. And then I'm just completely discarding the rest. Now that little, and you can actually preview the audio with this player down here. Now when I hit OK, it gives me that warning. Because if you've already imported the clip into a sequence, it's not going to delete those tracks off. It's only going to affect the channel mapping. So you will have to re-import that clip to your sequence here. But I'm going to hit OK and then delete it and re-import it. And now you can see I only have one audio track at all. And that audio track is mono with the correct audio channel selected. A little bit of a long-winded explanation, but I wanted to make sure I didn't skip over the how it works for those of people who don't know, because this is extremely powerful and extremely handy for a lot of the editing that I do. I do hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe for more awesome tech education. Check out a playlist link in the video description for more uh, video editing tutorials and premiere tips and things like that. And I will see you in the next one.